Well, hello everyone. <laughs> I hope that you're all doing really good, really well. You know, uh, if you can see that behind me right there, I love maple trees, but I found that deer love them too. <laughs> so I, I put this fence around, this chicken wire around that maple tree. You know that maple tree, it, it's like it it stayed around, uh, that stayed around probably uh, eight to ten inches for quite a few years and I wondered well why doesn't that grow any? And then after a while uh, I noticed where something had chewed on it, well then I saw a deer chewing on one of my maples. <laughs> so, so uh, so there, that's what that's what caused that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, uh, you know, I was fixing that little fence around there this last week, and I had my shirt off because it was just so warm. It was so warm, but uh, the black flies, even the garlic, didn't seem to work. <laughs> they were so bad, and actually, they're kind of bad right now. With this hat on, it kind of keeps them at least out of my hair. But anyways, I'm telling you all this for a reason. Uh, I was working away at, at putting that chicken wire around that around that tree to protect that tree right there. And I tell you what, I was being ate alive with these black flies. I couldn't wait to get in the house. And uh, anyways, when I when I got inside, I I told my wife, you know. Uh, those black flies, they're, they're terrible out there. They're chewing me right up. But, you know, it made me think of the spiritual warfare. And lately, uh, I've gotten a lot of comments, and I've seen a lot of uh, messages from people. It's like you've been bombarded with these, uh, with this spiritual warfare, with the enemy. I was telling my wife how much, uh, how much these black flies that were a spiritual warfare it's kind of like black flies in your in your mind in your brain it's like being bombarded with with these thoughts from the enemy that you can't seem to get rid of well you know you know it's the enemy when you constantly are bombarded with with uh, with thoughts I gotta kind of move backwards a little bit. I think I, I must be handy to a robin's nest because <laughs> it's squawking. But when the enemy, when the enemy, uh, you you can tell when he comes. You're you're especially being bombarded with thoughts that you just can't seem to shake, no matter what. Well, that's what was happening with with me personally. And then it finally dawned on me, you know, you know, I need to take authority over that and bind the enemy in Jesus' name. You know, that evening I did that, and uh, and I I haven't been bothered at all since with these with these things. the The enemy will torment you right steady if you let him, if you allow him. But when you recognize that those thoughts that are tormenting tormenting you just like those black flies in your mind, you can take authority over those in Jesus' name. As soon as I did that, I felt so much better. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you folks. It's just a simple message, but uh, I wanted to share that. And I prayed with a lot of folks concerning this because ever since I used that analogy myself, I've, I've noticed a lot of other people were going through the same thing, and I've prayed for different people. Um, they're going through circumstances where the enemy, the enemy has broadsided them with something that they didn't see coming. You know, when these things happen, I, you know, I have to say, uh, the spiritual warfare has been at an all-time high. I believe something is no doubt just around the corner. Uh, and I don't know what, but uh, it's not anything any good. Um, if you look in the background there, you can see it's kind of hazy. It's actually smoke from from uh, the forest fires that are up in Canada. Um, you know, we live in a very unpredictable world, and things can change instantly. It pays to always be ready at all times for Jesus' return. 
I believe that he's coming very, very soon. Uh, and the enemy, oh, he's fighting. He's fighting you so strongly. You know who I'm, you, the, the people that need this, you know who you are. The enemy has fought you, fought you like the old expression, tooth and nail. I don't know who started that, but tooth and nail. I don't know what a fight has to do with a tooth and a nail, but anyway. <laughs> I, uh, I'm being chewed up again. I thought I'd put this yellow shirt on because it's kind of bright, you know. Maybe it attracts the bugs, I don't know. That's probably what's going on. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to pray with you folks, especially pray with you folks. And I gotta head inside because the bugs are, I guess I'm not eating enough of that garlic. I don't know, something's going on here. <laughs> anyway, I wanna pray for you folks right now. Precious Lord, I just come to you right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, each and every one out there that really need this message, they know who they know who they are, and uh, Lord, they've been bombarded with things the enemy has brought their way to try to bring them down, to try to weaken them. And uh, Lord, in Jesus' name, I just take authority along. I agree with them in prayer. I take authority over the enemy. Dear Lord, the, in the name of Jesus, they receive the victory, and these tormenting, these tormenting thoughts will cease. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Lord, I pray that you will help each and every one to finish strong. Dear Lord, to finish strong, we believe that you're coming very soon, and uh, and the the enemy is fighting. He, like I said, tooth and nail, he is fighting fighting, fighting, but uh, greater is he that is within me than he that is within the world. And your your word, it, it says that when the enemy shall come in, I like the way that this, this version, when the enemy shall come in, like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise up a standard against him. Uh, and I, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for victory, for victory. Well, God bless and keep each and every one of you. Uh, this video is just a little shorter, I guess, but uh, probably the black flies. I, I, I blame them completely. They're, pro they're pushing me along to run inside. <laughs> I always like to do my videos outside because it's just really beautiful, especially in the state of Maine. It's really, really beautiful here. Um, but this time of the year, the black flies, especially in Maine, they sure can be relentless. Uh, they have no mercy whatsoever. You know, they do. Oh, I got one in my ear. <laughs> anyway, God bless and keep you all. Continue to stay strong. And uh, I truly believe Jesus is coming soon. The enemy, oh, he's fighting. He's fighting tooth and nail, but you're you're going to make it. You're going to make it. It will all be over very soon. We're going to be safe with Jesus very soon, I believe. Anyway, God bless and keep you all. You all take care. And bye for now. Bye for now, folks.